Hey guys, it's May 19th, 2023. Wanted to do a quick video showing you some of my chestnuts in the orchard here by the house. Um, a few of them have started blooming and wanted just to show you um, what that looks like and what to look for if you want to start, if you have trees of um, and want to start looking um, for um, some of the the female flowers on your chestnut trees so i've got some right here so you can see the fly uh, the flies insects flies in particular um love um the chestnut blooms in particular the male catkins when they start releasing the pollen you can see and um you if you look it's real easy to spot the female flowers at this point um they're the little round um, looking um, things that are usually located well not usually they are located at the base of the um, male catkins so right there in the middle of the, the, the screen there um, you can see there are two right here um, on this right there and you'll usually see on um, a tree, you know, a cluster. Uh, let me kind of zoom out here. A cluster of um, male catkins, and in that cluster, right in the middle, there'll usually be, I don't know, anywhere from two to three, maybe even four um, female flyers, and that's where right in the middle there is where they will be pollinated and they'll become burrs so there's another cluster right here and if you look close you'll see that this one um there is one right there and so if we go around and look and now this is my dunstan tree that's about 19 years old bought from walmart i've done several videos on it um, part is just now starting to um, to bloom and, and um, lots of the lots of the, the catkins aren't aren't open yet or they're just now beginning to open and so like these right here they're not they're just now starting to open so anyway these these are the same way and on this tree in particular it seems like um, and especially on Dunstan's at least in my experience um, there are some catkins that are on the lower limbs but most of them tend to be on the upper half of the tree like um, the ones that I just showed you I had to reach for a limb it's on the upper half of the tree and, and um, bend it down just to show you because it's way up there. It's it's on up there. It's probably Eight feet High up there. I had to reach up there and grab it down Just to get a good good view. So that's the Dunstan That's blooming right now I'm going on over to um, What I call the Chinese tree um, It's just a tree that I grew from seed But I'm sure it has some Dunstan um, in it um, because it blooms at the same time it is blooming right now also and it also um, tends to um, only have um, catkins and chestnuts on the upper half of the tree so I have to reach up here and grab a limb and pull it down just to show you anything now on this one right here there's only uh male catkins and i looked at it yesterday i did not see many female flowers on it um so we might not have many chestnuts on this tree this year it had it was my heavy producer last year so would not be surprising if that was the case like here's some on a limb. Do not see any chestnuts on it. Look. 
So you can see the insects love the pollen. Um, it's kind of, the insects do love the pollen and they are one of the main contributors to helping pollinate chestnut trees. However, I've always been told that chestnuts are primarily uh, wind pollinated. So go figure, I don't know which is the case. Um, it always seems to me like um, insects really do play a part in it. So there's that tree. It's a nice, big, healthy tree, but it sure doesn't seem like it has, uh, it's only gonna have male catkins on it right now. At least I don't see many potential chestnuts on it this year. All right, so my other trees are supposed to be late dropping trees, and they are. This tree right here um, is definitely a late dropper. The catkins on it are just, are real small. I can show you right quick. They're, they're, not even fully formed yet but this tree over here is normally a late dropper and the catkins are fully extended out and they um they're fully matured and they're producing pollen so i don't know what the deal is with this tree it like i said it's usually a late dropper i'm one of my better late droppers when I say late dropper, uh, about the 1st of October, mid-October, maybe. Um, I'd have to go back and look in my books and see exactly. Um, but I looked on this tree yesterday before decided to make a video and uh, it's it's absolutely loaded this year there's there's some right there there's potential chestnuts everywhere on this thing so it's got plenty and um I, like i said i had to go back and look but i do not remember it having this many last year so this is a good sign this tree is making plenty this year. But it's blooming a lot earlier than it normally does. So I don't know what's up with that. There's lots, there's, there's chestnuts on just about every terminal bud. There's two or three right there, some right there. Some right in there. There's at least three right there. There's not any right there, but that's fine. There's so many on this tree that I'm actually thinking that I may have to start when they get a little bit bigger. I may have to call some um, due to the fact that I don't know that the tree's going to be able to handle it all. Um, as you can see, the limbs are kind of spindly. Uh, they're not they don't they're not that big round. Uh, this tree's about 10 years old or so and uh, I mean the the limbs are just not that big. That's my only gripe about this tree. It it's kind of it's short and squatty. It's not it's not upright like these other trees. and the limbs just branch out. And if there gets to be a lot of weight on these outer limbs, I could see the limbs drooping down and, and bowing out and breaking. So I'm just gonna have to keep a keep an eye on it and make sure that these, these limbs don't get overloaded too bad and start drooping too bad. If they do, I'm just gonna have to pick some of the burrs off. Hate to do that, but I don't want to don't want to uh, break any limbs off either. But anyway, this tree is loaded this year. So, 
All right, guys, wanted to uh, show you what we've got so far. Um, the other tree over there, that tree is, um, it's six, seven years old, and it's my late, real late dropping tree. It's not even close right now, so. All right, take care, guys. And uh, if you like these types of videos, please, uh, Remember to like and subscribe. I'll be posting more. Thanks.